Hi everyone, I'm Sebi, developer advocate at Ivan. Today we will talk about Redis and more specifically about the data types that exist in Redis. Just to remember you, Redis is an in-memory data store, really fast, really useful for caching, for building live leaderboards in game, for instance, there are a lot of use cases. But today let's focus on five different data types that exist in Redis. Strings, list, sets, hashes, and sorted sets. Are you ready? Okay, let's go then. First of all, I need a Redis server. Okay, there are different options for that. I choose for Ivan and I created my Redis service really easily. Once I created it, I just use the CLI to connect to my Redis server. Let's go to my Redis server. Okay, I'm connected. And just to make sure it's live, I say ping and say pong. Okay, I can start playing with my Redis server. So first data type that I want to show you is the string. A really common data type that will, you will use to cache, for instance, a response that you get after an HTTP uh, request, for instance. For There are a lot of use cases and it's quite easy to use. Basically, you use set and then like any other data type in Redis, you have a key and a value. Let's say I'm building a game, player one, that is my key, and the value is Sebi. Okay, that's me. And now it's stored. And if I do a get player one, it retrieves me the string Sebi. Okay, you can do way more with that and we will see that in a separate video. But let's move to our second data type, which are lists. Lists are linked elements, okay? And it's really useful if you need to build a queue, okay? Like a waiting list in a, in a, in a ticket system. If you want to buy tickets for a concert, you can buy a list for this, okay? How does it work? Well, you do L push, Again, I need a key, I need an element, and let's, let's say a ticket list, okay? Ticket list, and a player one is the first one in the list, okay? And then player two, for instance, player 65, 60, 56, okay? Um, now I have three elements in my list, you can see it here. And then from there, again, I won't dive into the details, but you can um, get the length of the list, get a particular value for the list. If I do L index, for instance, for ticket list index one, I should have player number two, because remember index starts from zero. Okay, let's move to the third uh, data type, sets. What are sets? Sets are collections, and with unordered elements, okay? You don't need an ordered element like a list. And let's imagine, for instance, a game and you want to put in a set all the online players. Then a set is really useful. How do you do that? Simply you do S for set add, okay? I give it a key, online users, okay? And let's add player one. And let's add player uh, 56, for instance. And then I can uh, do stuff like uh, is, is in the set online users, the member player one available? Yes, okay. Is player uh, two available? No, zero, okay. Again, in another video, we will see how we can do crazy stuff like intersections between two sets, which is really useful. Okay, let's talk now about hashes. If you need to have a bit more structure, okay, in your data, you can use hashes. How does it work? Pretty simple, you type H set, the key, uh, let's say players, player details for player one, Okay, and then I say name is Sebi, age is 44. There we go. Now I've stored a hash 
for this particular player. If I do an H get player details one and I want to name, it will retrieve me Sebi, same if I do H. Okay, so this is really useful if you need to store more structure. Okay, now let's talk about sorted sets. Sorted sets are collections of unique strings associated with a score. This is really useful if, for instance, you need to build a leaderboard in a game and you want to have to the top one player, the top three players. So how do you do that? Uh, Z add, okay. Again, a key, let's say a leaderboard, okay. And my first player, he has 100 point is player uh, one, okay. I do it again and player two, he has a bit less points, let's say 80 points and let's add a third one. Yes, 20 points, that is player 56, okay. And now what I can do, Z range, okay, I can say, uh, give me the leaderboard, uh, for the leaderboard, the top three players, okay. And I start from zero to two, okay. And um, that will give me, look at this, the player with the less score because by default it goes increasing. So what I can say is say, give it reverse to me. And here I get my top three players. I can do again a way more than that but that will be in a specific video dedicated to sorted sets. So in this video, you learn about five different data types in Redis, strings, lists, sets, hashes, and sorted sets. There are four other data types, a bit more complicated, streams, geospatial, hyperloglog, and bitmap. Those will be covered in another video. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and to subscribe to the Ivan YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.